So this is the bus I will be taking for the next 10 hours, possibly sleeping with my good friend here. My God, he just stopped me from getting scammed. Everyone out here is out to get you. We're gonna be taking this 10 hour bus all the way to Rishikesh, the north of India, home of yoga. But first, we have to find our seats. And I think it might be a little bit more difficult than we thought. We have no food, no water for 10 hours. I'm not even sure if this bus makes stops. I'm not sure. But we're gonna get on and make our way. I'm sweating like a pig. Seems like maybe we put our bags in there. We are on the VJ bus. I paid for a single sleeper, but I might be sleeping with my good friend right here, as is he has a double bed, which means anybody else random can jump in the bed with him. But I think to spare him and save him, I will jump in the bed with him. This is absolutely nuts. This is my first bus travel here in India. S4? Oh. Yes, sir. S4. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see if I can find my... S4. Here. Yes. Acha. Okay. Looks like this is my bed. Oh, you guys. Let me just take off my bag. Uh, give you a quick tour. We have our AC. We have our USB plugs right here. Bed's kind of stiff. People back here. These are what the double beds look like. I might have to get in there with my buddy. I'm not sure. For now, I'm going to get up here so that way I can get out of everyone's way. Uh, yeah, this is my first bus travel here in India. Yeah, let him know that. If he, uh, if he's with someone that he's uncomfortable with, he could just let me know and I'll switch with him. Uh, because, you know, he doesn't want to sleep next to someone random and I wouldn't either. This will be, well, this is our view for now. Again, 10 hour bus ride heading to the north. It's a little confusing, but we made it. Looks like my buddy's right here also from America. I met him last night at the Golden Temple. Good guy. We have no food, no snacks, as I said. All right, so we're gonna go get some fruit, uh, some drinks. I don't know, bro. I don't mean to put you on camera, but how are you feeling about this bus ride? So far? I mean, I knew what it was gonna be. Yeah. It ain't gonna be great. Here we are. Yeah, get a mango. This plum, pomegranate, orange. Orange. Cherry, this plum. Plum. This plum is very good. Okay, okay. All right, guys, here we are on the hunt for some fruits and veggies. My gosh, this is absolutely nuts. Uh, travel in India is very, very stressful. I think I'm gonna get a cold drink. Travel over here is super stressful, so if you're not built for this, I don't know, find a local or someone that can help you out. We have a bunch of fruits. I might get a water, a Sprite. They've got everything in here, though. Okay. Let's see what we go for. Ah. Okay. All right, so basically, we got four bottles of water, we got a bunch of bananas, two sprites, and a monster for around 275 rupees. So, let me do the math real quick for you guys. Oh, it's absolutely, well, it feels good because right here we have the AC blowing down. If I didn't have that, I'd be dying. So I said, we got all of that for 275, which is $3.35. I got all that. So, yeah. We're out here just trying to figure out what we're gonna do. 
where the driver sits, right up there. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, so. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Anup. Anup? Anup. Ah, where are you from? I'm from Rajasthan. 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 I love Rajasthani culture. Are you going to Rajasthan? No, I'm going to Rishikesh now. Okay. And then maybe uh, September, I go to Rajasthan. Oh, oh, yes. When the weather cools down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very hot right now. <laughs> yeah. This is, can I put you on camera? Yeah. This is my friend. Tell them. Hi. Tell them what's so interesting about India. Why should people come to India? Uh, cultural, uh, uh, many more languages. Yeah. Uh, and food. 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 Beautiful scenery. Beautiful scenery. Yeah. Uh, and traditional and great hospitality you guys since I came here in India nothing but spectacular hospitality thank you brother thank you. Danyalad. Danyalad. all right so basically my, my friends left just wasn't feeling it but it's okay sometimes in life we make decisions and we have to own those you understand nothing bad it's just the universe told him to go somewhere else so here we are right now on the outskirts of Amritsar. I actually really don't even know if we're on the outskirts, but right now we are heading to Harwar, I believe. And then we will be taking a tuk-tuk to Rishikesh, which I believe is the home of yoga. So this is a 10 hour journey. I got my AirPods, got my computer up here. I'll probably do some editing. I have to put out some videos when I get to Rishikesh. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm six foot. I am uh, got my back against this wall, my feet spread out. I'm definitely not putting my bags down below. I'm keeping them on me at all times. I got my Sprite, my bananas, my water. I don't know if we're going to stop for food. So, <laughs> as they say, chalo chale, let's go. Yes. So this is where we're picking up from the last video. The other day, I took, as you've seen, a 10 hour bus, 10 hour sleeper bus from Amritsar to right here in Rishikesh. And actually, I'm not necessarily in Rishikesh. I'm right outside of Rishikesh. It's a place called Tapovar. Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. The other day, I got very, very, very sick on the uh, bus in fact i ate a little bit of food earlier in amritsar at a local daba street food and it messed my stomach all up i got dysentery so bad and actually a cab driver drove me all the way from the bus stop to right here and this is where he dropped me off i told him take me to your best hotel i need to go to your best hotel and this right here is where he dropped me off and so, guys, let me just tell you something. While I was on that 10 hour bus, my stomach was turning, I was throwing up. I actually, I actually, I sharted. Believe it or not, I sharted. So, as I come from the bus, the man drops me off right here. And this hotel right here, Sada Hotel, is the first one that I went to to see if they had any availability. And they told me to come back at 1. I got here at 5 a.m. I was walking around aimlessly. I tried to do this thing that travelers do, as they say, trust in the universe. And I thought that maybe a place would have a room for me. But boy, was I mistaken. So while I'm on the bus, absolutely throwing up, it's coming out my rear end. I'm laying back on the bus and I sharted myself. So I'm on the bus, I'm changing my clothes. I'm cleaning myself up. I put everything in my Ziploc bag. Luckily, thankfully, I had my Ziploc bag with me. I store all my stuff in my Ziploc bag. And if you could imagine the stench that was coming out of that bag on that bus, it was absolutely horrific. Check out the Indian truck driver we have coming by here. Those guys keep India going with their goods, the oil, the gas, and everything. They keep India moving. So anyways, the stench that was coming out of the bag was absolutely horrendous. 
So if you could imagine just being sick on a bus for 10 hours, you're not in your own, you're not in your home country, no one speaks English. It was absolutely crazy. I had the bus driver stop one time and he pulled over and fortunately I found a bathroom, but it wasn't until I sharted again. <laughs> And then he pulled over again, but by that time it was too late. And uh, just so you know, there's cows and there's dogs that roam the streets here in India. That's completely normal. Cows are uh, a symbol of holiness here. They're, 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 they're protected here. So I get off the bus at 5 a.m. I get a tuk-tuk to right here. I come into this Sada hotel. I ask him if he has any room. As I walk in, everyone's sleeping. Everyone in the reception area is sleeping, which you guys, this is not a first world country. This is not America. You can't, you can't come here and complain and, and act like, you know, they need to serve you. That's not how things work here because they will tell you to move on really, really quick. So he tells me to come back at one. Then I go to Peepaw Tree Hotel. They say that they're all booked up. I don't know if I believe it. Seeing as, seeing as hot right now is not really a uh, high season. There's, there's not a lot of tourists coming in. So, you know, I, I just don't think that anyone wanted to do their job, which is okay. I'm not tripping about that. So I'm on the bus, I'm throwing up inside of the bag that I have my nasty clothes at. So the stench is just boom, boom, hitting me in the face. It's absolutely ridiculous. I couldn't even handle myself. You got cars coming in, everyone's honking. You need to make sure that your head is always on a swivel when you're here in India. Because I'm telling you, these guys will smoke you. This is not like Spain, this is not like Europe where they're gonna stop for you or anything. They don't care. They have a mission, they have a motive, and they're gonna keep going. So yeah, I take a short walk from this hotel down this street right here. And as you can imagine, you see the cows, you see the cows. There's cow shit everywhere, there's horse shit everywhere, and I'm just throwing up. I'm feeling so bad, right? So then, I make my way down this street right here. I'm gonna try to keep talking pretty loud because we have a speaker right here, and uh, they're playing music, so I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted by that. So after four hotels deny me, I continue to walk down this street right here, and I'm in pain, you guys. I'm in absolute pain right now, right? It's 5.30 a.m. It's about 105 degrees out, which I don't know, might be like 40 degrees Celsius. I'm truly not even sure. And I, I got my bag on my front. I got my bag on my back. If you, just, if you could just imagine, I'm profusely sweating. Oh my God, it's almost like a humid day back home or in Arizona or California or wherever you live in your respective places. The hottest day you could imagine. I'm just sweating, sweating coming down this road, right? And at this point, my, my mental health and my, my physical health is just deteriorating. I'm just going down and down and down and down. And I just, at this point, I'm like, I don't want to be here anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sick. No one's helping me. And I just came from a place where everyone was kind. Everyone was helping me. They were hooking me up. Hospitality was on par. But my, my, my taste, the taste in my mouth here, it was not good. And mind you, this is the place of like, this is the this is the home of uh, of uh, of yoga of yoga. So there's a lot of yogis around. I'm thinking that the energy is good. I'm thinking that the vibes are great. I'm thinking it's going to be positive. But again, no one's helping me. So I'm continuing my trek down this road. I'm looking for hotels. And you guys, like I said, it was my fault. But I did this thing that like these YouTubers and these travelers do, which I've been noticing. They, they just like trust the universe and like the universe will provide. And I'm a person who needs to be in control. I need to have absolute control of the situation. You understand? And I didn't have control of this situation. So I was losing my freaking mind. I was going crazy. I was going absolutely crazy. Yes, you'll see this is very common here in India. You have wash stations uh, everywhere you go. People wash hands, feet. And uh, yeah, because like I said, there's a lot of cow dung on the street, a lot of horse dung on the street, people stepping in. So, you know, you keep moving. So we'll continue with the story. I was absolutely mentally and physically just like thrown off. Like I said, I was on the bus for 10 hours. I was very sick. I had dysentery. I'm throwing up in this bag. And mind you, this is the same bag that I changed my clothes and I, I 
I threw all my dirty clothes in the bag, the, the clothes with the, with the stuff on it. You understand what I'm saying? So every time I open the bag to throw up, I'm just like, oh, I'm getting this whiff. And I'm like, oh, it's even worse. It's even worse. So I'm walking down this street. And then that's when I come to this place right here, Divine Resort and Spa. And I said to myself, ah, there might not be, there might not be many people here. So I see a security guard here. I walk through this door here and I ask him, do you guys have room for two nights? I just need two nights. I need a bed, I need a toilet, I need a shower, I need clean water, I need food to eat. You understand what I'm saying? And eventually they hooked me up, but only for a small price of, can you guess? Can you guess? That was 370 USD just for two nights. And I'll tell you this, their 150 a night, 370 USD a night is not our 370 USD a night. So it was luxury for where I'm at. Let's just put it like that. It was luxury for where I'm at. And I had views, I had views of the Ganga. I'm not actually sure. Can I walk in here? Temple. I can walk? Tempo, tempo. Very nice tempo. Nice tempo, okay. Tempo. Okay, so this apparently is a temple. What, who, what god is this? Shoes right here. And who is this? Who's this? Durga, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Parvati. Ah, okay. So, I come to this resort right here, and I'm just, ah, I'm just throwing up. I'm feeling bad. And so basically, I stay here for two days. Okay, this man's directing me upstairs. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna show you guys the view. I come, I come over here to show you guys the view because I had a, I had like a river view. Um, uh, uh, I had a, I had a room. My room was right over there with the view of the Ganga. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> let's see what we're getting ourselves into. So yeah, I had a view of the Ganga, you guys. It was absolutely beautiful. Oh, I have to pay. Ganga Mata. I have to pay? No. I do like, no problem. No, what what is this? Yeah, you you like. No 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 I don't I don't want. Yeah. No, I don't I don't want. Puja, puja. Ganga Arti, main temple. This compulsory. Okay. You can, you can sit down. You can read? Uh America say. Aapka naam kya hai? Rajendra. Rajendra. Right. No, 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 I don't I don't want anything. No, no. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay. No, I no I don't I don't want it, sir. No, I don't want it, sir. I just I just was making a video to show the Ganga. Yeah, all Ganga only. Yeah, sorry. Danyavar. Yeah. They'll 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 wrap you in like that here in India. You gotta you gotta make sure that you're uh, persistent in saying no because they don't take no for an answer. You understand what I'm saying? So he said, you know, like a puja, which is like an offering. Something like that, but we'll be quiet. But this is the view right here of the Ganga. As you guys can see. So I'll take you down. I'll take you down to another section down here. It seems like everyone's trying to hassle me, trying to get some money out of me, which I understand. Um, I was told that this place actually, um, just like Leh Ladakh, like, like derives, like thrives, you know, off of tourism. So that's okay. But that's not what today is about. So we're going to keep it moving. And as you can see, I actually think I stepped in some cow dung. So like I said, um, this place over here, Divine Resort and Spa, took me in for a small price of 370 USD for two nights. Long story short, I was ordering room service when I got up there. I had, um, I had like fruit platters, I had pineapple juices, cause guys, I was feeling sick. I had dysentery, it was crazy, right? And the only thing I could think of is, I need nutrients, I need nutrients. So the nutrients were coming, the nutrients were coming. And fortunately, I beat my sickness within like, within like 24 to like 36 hours. And then I finally got back up and I started walking around. And from Divine Resort and Spa, which is right over here, I come down this street here and I ended up finding my next uh, hostel, which I've been at for the past like three, four days. So I've been here for a total of like six days but I was just like, I was so out of it that I couldn't even move for the first three, four days. You understand what I'm saying? So it was absolutely horrible. Um, so just when you come here, you gotta make sure that you watch what you eat. You gotta make sure you watch uh, what you drink. And I was doing good for like the first two and a half, three weeks, I was doing good. I was eating not wherever I wanted, but I was eating at like healthy places. 
drinking good water and stuff like that. So um, actually the kid that you saw me with in the beginning of this video, he's actually a kid from Oregon and he uh, was born into Sikhism. So I ended up meeting him. He was gonna come on the bus ride with me, but he started you know, not feeling so well himself. So he ended up taking off. And uh, that's basically how I ended up on the bus by myself. But the bus ride was smooth for the most part. It was raining. Um, like I said, I didn't start feeling bad until like three, four hours into the bus journey. And then it, it, it was a total of like 10 hours. You understand what I'm saying? So, namaste. Namaste. Uttar Pradesh. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Sivam. Sivam. What are you guys doing? Uh, like touring? Is, is it your holiday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone from Uttar Pradesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Ah, okay. Hadrawar. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Yay. All right. So the people here are very, very kind. You know what I mean? They're always interested in like what you're doing and stuff like this. Guys, look, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. The bricks. They make their own bricks. They stack them up. They build their own um buildings structures and things like that it's super 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 interesting and a lot of respect for the people of india they are extremely hard workers which probably is why they're so successful when they go to other countries like check this out right here we got the wood holding up the concrete the cement the roof you got your rhubar in here i think it is you know your metal poles like just absolutely interesting but yeah, like I was saying, <clears throat> um, I was here for a couple days. I was sick for most of it. And then uh, eventually I ended up, ended up getting over it. And um, I had to walk down this alleyway right here to get to my hostel. And uh, yeah, I had to walk down this alleyway right here to get to my hostel. And it was, it was crazy. It was confusing trying to figure out where I should go, where I shouldn't go or anything like that. So. Google Maps helped, and uh, also the help of some locals helped as well. So, yeah, if you guys ever come to a country like this or you're scared about getting lost or anything, just make sure you get a local SIM card or you have enough data on your phone in order to, uh, in order to navigate you know, where you're going so that way you have proper directions. But I just wanted to give you guys an update as to like why you didn't see the rest of that video or anything like that is because your boy got extremely, extremely sick. And my friend told me too, he was like, look, eating here, you might get a little sick. And I was like, I think I'll be all right. Apparently that wasn't the case. So that was uh, that. Was that. <laughs> that was my 10 hour bus ride from Emritsar to Rishikesh and it only cost me like 12 bucks for a little sleeper bed which is outstanding as far as the price compared to what you would get like in America like you ain't gonna get around anywhere for 12 bucks in America you guys already know that so all right I'm gonna end this video here I just wanted to give you guys a quick update I'm doing much better now and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one